Hello everyone. This will be a review of the Tier 5 American Destroyer Hill. Without further ado, let's get into let's get into it. So Hill is one of the draft designs for a late World War I destroyer flot flotilla leader. It's an arm of five main battery guns. Find Hill in the armory coal its price in coal is 38,000 coal find this to be a fun destroyer at tier 5 so let's go over what I have for my skills I have preventive I have preventative maintenance last stand survivability expert Concealment expert. Armor layout we got 10 millimeter plating up here, 13 millimeter plating up here, 10 millimeter plating up here, 10 millimeter plating on the side, aft 10 millimeters, superstructure 10, mil 10 millimeters. Turbo bulkhead 10 meters meters survivability is 13,850 hit points artillery is 5x1 127 millimeter guns reload time of 4.8 seconds range of 11.4 kilometers torpedoes it's a 3x3 530 millimeter Six degree turn time, 66 seconds reload time. Torpedo range is 5.5 .5 kilometers. Torpedo speed is 59 knots. Depth charges, 3,600. Number of charges, two. Bombs in a charge, six. Depth charge reload time, 40 seconds. AA, 5.8 kilometer firing range, 35. Sent priority sector reinforcement damage by shell explosions 1120 continuous damage 67 maximum speed is 37.5 knots turning circle radius is 560 meters rudder shift time is 3.1 seconds consumed by sea is 6.4 kilometers detectability from subs see right there detectability by air is 2.6 kilometers assured detectability range is 2.0 Old kilometers for equipment I have torpedo modification one engine room protection magazine modification one see our different velocities here you can see that our standard consumables here we got an engine boost of 8% smoke generator regular damage control party See here our stats again. All right, without further ado, let's get into battle with Hill. Whoa. I like to bring out Hill a lot when I'm playing with my friends and divisions. I find that it's an easy destroyer to work with. And I highly recommend it for its coal price of 38000 I find the ship adapts well to different situations quite nicely. Overall, I just really enjoyed the, the maneuverability of the ship and its responsiveness. I just like how this ship, you know, is responsible with the guns, its speed boost is great. 
mention the smoke time run it is good too trying to make these reviews and co-op is it's going to best represent the conditions future of world of warships as some marines are most likely going to come into the game in other game modes i don't know for sure at the time of recording if they're going to hit randoms but there's a high probability that they might, so that's why I record these reviews in randoms versus randoms. There you go. I think I'm gonna have much destroyer versus destroyer combat here. There's destroyer, never mind that. Pasta. the ship to perform very well in its role. It's like a hybrid, it's mainly a hybrid between torpedo boat and gunboat. Performs that well, excellent, excellently, I'd say. It just has to be precise when they're aiming their torpedoes. Usually... Torpedoes to port! You'll come out on top of this destroyer. Hmm. Seems my torpedoes missed. Fine, I got more torpedoes here if I switch to the other launcher on the other side. Like that. We'll hit them now. I find this destroyer to be a nice, fun treat to play every once in a while when I'm having a long day just jump into it and just perform well you know what i mean we all have that one ship we like to go to after a long day of work you know for me it's it's hill or it's a tago we gotta kill overall i think the ship the ship is best played at mid-range keeping in mind Enemies around you can be many at a battles, even random squabs. They can all be chaotic at different times. So you got depth charges to deal with subs. So I highly recommend this as a first coal ship after Charleston. Recommend Charleston first and then Hill. So you get your destroyer gameplay down and then Hill. A nice, reliable tier 5. Rely on to make some decent credits for its tier. I always encourage everybody just if you're, just to spend with a conscience. So if they ever offer this in the prem shop, I would highly recommend people get it for cold before the premium shop, but each their own. Adapt to multiple situations with this destroyer, which is why I like it for its adaptability. Can't go wrong with picking this up as your first premium destroyer. Encourage anybody to try to get it for coal first, though. See that we got the dev charges, so I'll just demonstrate that real quick. There's not much to see here, but when you're going against a, a submarine in the ship, you want to try to get as close as you can and then drop the depth charges. Depth charges come out mainly from behind. Line up well with the submarine if you can. Try to partner with somebody who is hydroacoustic on your team. Radar. 
Oh, what am I kidding? You're not going to have radar at the lower tiers, but hydroacoustic. I know ships at this tier have hydroacoustic. Partner up with a ship that is hydroacoustic and have them spot the, the sub for you and then go over them with the depth charges. Submarines are still a work in progress, so they may still change things again with the depth charges on the ship. So keep that in mind. Remember that uh, your biggest strength in the ship is definitely your adaptability and keeping at range from enemy ships. Overall, I find Hell to be a, a nice destroyer at tier 5. One that I've played mul multiple times with, with divisions. It's great for divisions. It's a force multiplier for sure. Overall, I highly recommend the ship as a first premium coal ship for anybody. It's fun, it's reliable, and it gets the job done. So until next time, please remember to like, watch, and subscribe for future World of Warships and mobile gameplay content. Thank you so much for watching, everybody.